Hey there everyone, how's it going? First thing we're going to do today is grab some fuel. Then I'm going to throw a little, uh, a little vlog for you guys. Quick, quick vlog. So I'm going to spare you with the, uh, refilling and... I'll get back to you after she's full of fuel. Alright, I'm back from getting fuel. So I started a Facebook today. I'll put it on the screen right here. Uh, that's there. That'll pro that and Instagram will probably be the two best places to see what's going on with the channel. So far... We're going to Ohio. Actually, I'm going to Ohio, whether or not. But, you know, I'll be in Ohio for the AIM Expo. That is the, uh, we're leaving Thursday the 21st. And, uh, So we'll be there Thursday night. We'll probably go downtown drinking, so. That's that. But now it's all. So spring. I'm looking to get more of a long distance bike, if you will. I don't I don't know if I need a full fairing or just a naked. I can't I can't decide. Jesus Christ. Uh, that being said, if you guys had any ideas or whatever, comment below. Let me know what you think. I do have a budget, sort of. <laughs> sort of. But that's that'll all change with whatever happens this winter. Throughout else I was gonna say. I'm squinting today because my jacket is still soaked. Somehow my gloves dried. Being leather and all. You know. Somehow my gloves dried in like a couple hours on the boot dryer. My boots are still soaked. My my jacket is absolutely drenched. I threw these in the dryer. I actually did laundry last night. But I threw these fuckers in the dryer. And... Yeah. It was a good ride. Uh, I'm going to start editing that this week. And that'll be up next weekend. Uh, I'll do a little bit of editing every night. It's another road trip video. Had a lot of good food. Went on a nice ride. Did a little over 300 miles. Hence why I want to get a more long distance bike. I know this bike is great and does everything and supermoto is life. But I just don't do enough supermoto stuff to keep it. So I don't know. If I were going to do a supermoto I would do an actual supermoto I would take a dirt bike and make it into a supermoto so then I didn't care about it but I just like doing my long trips so much more than doing supermoto things I know we have the East Coast series for supermoto and all that other stuff and there's go-kart tracks around and that and whatnot but this thing's just too much of a tank to do all that shit with so, I'd like to get something more long distancey. I mean, it doesn't have to be, like I said, it could be a naked bike as long as it's got a nice, comfortable seating position. I ride this for three, four hundred miles easy, and I'm fine. I'm a little sore today. But I want to be able to hop on the highway and get farther away from home quicker. Rather than taking side roads and taking 
forever to get to where I want to go. I don't want a cruiser, so no. I just don't. Not what I'm looking for. I want something that's more nimble than a cruiser. I like the FC10. I don't know if I'd get an 09. I like the 09 too. But for what I could get a 10 for leftover, I might as well just get a 10. I mean, a 9 for leftover, I might as well just spend a little bit more and get the 10. Get the R1 motor. Get, get cruise control. All that stuff. My big thing with that is I'd, I want to test drive it before I buy it. So... That'll be a video to come. Reaction to riding an FC10. Ooh. That's definitely a kit car, but I like. I like a lot. I think I covered most of the points. I'll keep riding and see if I come up with anything else that I want to say. Also. Come Monday, which is tomorrow. This video will be up tonight, I hope. Uh, I'm ordering a new mic. I'm sick of hearing as much wind noise. So, Jake the Garden Snake posted a video of a cool way to reuse a Sana mic. So, I'm going to give it a try. It was pretty cheap. I think it was like 30 bucks total. Give that a try, and uh, I guess just go from go from there. Ideally, I'd like to own two bikes, but I don't know if I can make that happen. We'll see. I gotta decide exactly what I want to do. So. Well, I'm just going to continue this ride. All I'm doing is making sure everything dries off, gets warmed up again after the rainstorm. And it's a sweet Corvette. Uh, I'll check in later if I uh, think of anything else I want to add to this. I really like the S1000XR. That's another choice. But I really can't afford 19 grand on a motorcycle. I just can't. So if I can find a, a used one for a good price, that might be an option. My problem is, is what I really need is a long distance bike that I could just hop on and do thousand mile days and not care, not be sore. And I need, I'm around the town, grocery getter, wheelie machine, whatever. You know, there's only a few brands that I would really buy from. And I know Kawasaki has the Ninja 1000, which is the, not the ZX-10R, but the Ninja 1000, which is like a, it's like the Ninja 650, but with a 1,000 cc motor. That's kind of cool. See, I wish Yamaha made uh, a bike like that, a full fairing upright bike. But I don't think they do anymore. I know the FC1 used to be just like that before they made it the FC10. Uh, maybe that's an option. An older FC1. Get a used one for cheap and just put some bags on it and ride it. Sweet exhaust in it and just call it a day. I guess I could do that. Alright guys, that's all for today's vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, comment down below with what you'd like to see. I mean, I could go buy a purpose race purpose-built race dirt bike in the spring, a Grom, 
or more road trip stuff comment down below tell me what to do and uh i'll catch you on the next one peace